I'm shoving my nose in makeup. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for joining me today. It really means the world to me. So sorry I'm looking a little haggard today. I am home from work, but you know that when this puppy, my boxy charm, gets in, I have to sit right down and I have to film. Of course, after I change my clothes after work. And if you're interested in hearing the news in New York in the background, which by the way, it's like 18 degrees here, just a little bit cold. Um, it's very playing very loudly on in the background, so you know, if you want to hear the weather, <laughs> you may be able to. So while I open up my very special box that I get super excited about, let me tell you about a 20, no, not 20, BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription box that you get about five products, full-size products, mind you, every month. And it could be skincare, it could be makeup, and... You can also get the Boxy Lux, which is something different, but this you get every month or the third month. You will, if you choose to upgrade, you can get the Boxy Lux, which is something different. I also do those here on my channel too. As I said, this is my favorite subscription box. Out of all of them, for $21, it is completely worth it. Sometimes you get duds, but I love subscription boxes. I love being surprised. I love finding out what I'm going to get if I get some new products. And it is, I've never regretted having it for one single solitary second. By the way, this box over here, I'm filming that video next, so that's why it's sitting there. Anyway, let's open her up. Once you open her up, if I can ever get it open, <laughs> you always get a card that sits nicely on top that will tell us all of the products that are hidden behind this very fuzzy little rubber. Rubber? Is that rubber? It's foam. <laughs> yeah, I know the difference. A protective back here. I'm going to read you the front of it, and I don't want to see the back. And this one is called Boxy and Chill. Kind of cute very adorable. You know what it reminds me of? It's very like Hello Kitty like in my opinion. Very cute. Okay. I did bring my glasses with me this time. Yay! First thing I'm going to pull out is something shiny and purple. And so I have to look at this. Oh my god the box is like gorgeous. Reflective purple. My favorite color. And this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. And I don't have this. Yay me! This isn't going to be a try-on video. I'm going to do a separate video with that. But I do want to maybe do swatches and everything. And in here, with Tarte products, they're always giving you, like, little tutorial cards. Normally it's a pamphlet, but this is just a single sheet of paper, which doesn't bother me. I think it's nice because some people need some help on getting started with makeup. Let's take a look at the outside, which is stunning. Again, it's purple and gold. The back is gold and extremely reflective. And again, this is the Rainforest of the Sea palette. You can see the size of it, how it fits in my hand. Some people don't like round palettes for the inability to store them. They don't bother me because I bought some organizer drawers and they just sit in there just fine. When you open it up, Oh, this is very pretty. It's a very neutral palette. It does have a very nice mirror that says Tarte on it, as you can see. And let's take a look. It's a very neutral palette, which doesn't bother me in the least. It appears to me, as I'm looking at it, that they are all satiny shadows. I don't think I see a true matte, but let's just try. I'm going to use this hand. Let's try swatching a couple. Oh, it's so cold because it was in my mailbox. This is that light shade. Oh, I wonder if it... I'm shoving my nose in makeup. <laughs> okay. This is a very light shade. They're very creamy, very soft, and for such a light shade, that's quite pigmented. I think that one's kind of matte. This one also looks a little matte. Now, they do have the names on them. Let me put my glasses on so I can actually see them. Even with my glasses on, it's really difficult. That one was called Sand. I'm going to swatch. Now that I'm looking at it, they really all seem shimmery. But let me swatch Cove for you right here. I had to do two swatches of that so you can see the color. That's a very pretty neutral color. Let's swatch this the most... This Not most, but... Oh, this is very pretty. This is more shimmery than the others. Oh, that's really nice. Wow. 
I think it's neutral, but you know, you can always add a pop of glitter like I do <laughs> onto my lids if you have a neutral palette. That last one swatched so very creamily. Creamily? Creamily? Yeah. I can't wait to do the try on with this. This is I said this is my first one. I do like the Rainforest of the Sea line, so I have a feeling I'm going to be very happy. So that is so cool. Next, I am pulling out an Ofra lipstick. This is their new packaging. I do very much like Ofra lipsticks. And this one is in Miami Fever. It seems to be like a peachy brown. I'm not sure if it's translating that way on camera. They do have a very nice scent. This is kind of a rusty color. Again, it's coming off on camera kind of reddish orange, but in real life, it's looking like a burnt sienna almost. I mean, it seems very pretty. It's very nice. I will look forward to trying this on with that. And again, I do like the aesthetic of um, Ofra. They changed their whole packaging. They rebranded and they did a really nice job with it. The next thing I am going to pull out, it's very hard to hide anything. That's product number two. This is number three, and this is from Briogeo, an extremely expensive brand, and this is the Rosarco Milk. It is a reparative leave-in conditioning spray, which I adore. I love leave-in sprays. They detangle your hair, and they're fabulous. I can't wait to read up on how much this little guy costs. The next thing I am pulling out is, it's obviously a brow product since it has a spoolie. And this is Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. I hate when they say universal. I always have my doubts about that. But it is a nice brown color with a very fine point. I mean, this is perfect for me and my skin tone. I don't know how this is going to work on a blonde, uh, in my opinion. I'm lucky that this matches me and my hair color. I like that it's nice and cool toned. It's very um, large. Do you know what I mean? Normally they're not this long. I'm not complaining about that. I'm, it's just um, noting. And it does have a nice spoolie on it with a nice little kind of ferrule here. Cool. You can never go wrong with a spoolie. And last but not least in the box are two Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Masks. Well, if you watch my masking series, you will know that I will check these out. Now, I do know that these bad boys are $12 each. $12. $12 for one single solitary mask. I would never pay $12 for a single solitary mask. That's I'd rather spend that money on a serum or a moisturizer or put it towards it or put it towards an eyeshadow palette. Do, do you know what I mean? But I will be testing these out for my masking series and let you know my thoughts and whether or not they are going to be worth the $12. This is the only thing that I actually know the price of. So let's take a look at our cart. The first thing on the cart is the Briogeo. And as I explained, it is the Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This is... Does this say 20 ounce? To me, it looks like it says 20 ounces, but this is actually 2 ounces. That might just be a typo, or maybe the printing is so small. It says, effectively restore your hair's softness, manageability, moisture, and shine with Briogeo's Rosarco Milk Spray infused with the signature blend of ultra moisturizing. It has rosehip, argan, and coconut oils. This spray works to detangle wet hair and protects against heat while locking in moisture, restoring a luster and a diminishing frizz. All the things I listed are what my hair needs for sure. And so this must be like the travel size because this retails for $12, which seems about right. The next thing is this Ofra lipstick, and these are not inexpensive lipsticks. This little puppy is $20. I have a hard time paying $20 for a lipstick. That's just me personally. It says this matte liquid lipstick delivers long-lasting color that perfectly outlines and fills in the lips. We'll see. 
<laughs> the stunning pigments stay put all day with minimal transfer while maintaining a comfortable wear infused with vitamin A and antioxidants. Your lips will look and feel healthy all day. As I said, they are 20 bucks, and I actually do happen to like the formula of them because I have several of them that I've gotten minis of, etc. Et the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette says indulge in an eyeshadow palette that hydrates the lids while delivering intense, never chalky pigment that creamy, no, try that again. The creamy powder formula comes in eight extremely blendable velvet shades. They do actually feel velvety. I will definitely say that. The long wear eyeshadows are enriched with vitamin E and antioxidants, helping to balance and protect the lids. Now it says the retail value it was $36, but I can tell you, I was just on the Tarte website, and I believe it was either on Sephora or Ulta, that the palettes were on sale. These round palettes were on sale for like $20 to $25. So the actual, I mean, the retail value is $36, but they're all on sale right now. Just letting you know that. The Tatcha dewy face masks this is a two pack now i think that of course if you buy them you can either buy them individually or they might come in a box it says nourish skin within from within while using this lightweight blend of rich germ oil vitamin e essential fatty acids and highly concentrated botanical oils and extracts each mask is designed for the maximum absorption delivering 20 milliliters of skin quenching serum and imparting an instant dewy luminous glow. I will let you know uh, later on about that. A scientifically perfected trio of fermented Japanese anti-aging superfoods like green tea, rice, and algae instantly restores skin's health and radiance. Those are essential, all, not essentially, they are excellent things for your skin. So we shall see. Again, they are $12 each, which I knew because I have seen them on sale. So we are getting a value of $24 right here. And there's a little promo thing here. It says you're getting a free gift with purchase of $75 or more on your first order at Tatcha.com while supplies last. If you enter the code BOXY19, it is valid through February 7th. It does not tell you what you are getting. But BOXY19, if you want to enter that code, you will get a free gift with the purchase of $75. Okay, the Billion Dollar Brows, which I think I've heard of but I'm not so sure. Again, Universal Brow Pencil. Specifically and carefully formulated to work perfectly with most skin tones and brow colors. This self-sharpening pencil glides onto your brows without tugging or pulling your skin. It did feel very smooth. The spoolie at the end makes for easy blending and the smooth creamy formula makes for easy application. It says that the retail value of this is $18. Now, I'll have to let you know whether it's worth it because the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I believe, is 21. So I'll have to, I will be comparing it to that because I do enjoy that one. So that to me will be kind of like the, you know, bearing point of everything. I will put on the screen what the total of the value of this box is and what are my thoughts on this box. I'm very happy with it. Again, I enjoy these. I'm super excited to do a try on with this. I have a lot of products that I can do my try on with so that it will be really fun. I'm very excited about this because this is something I will probably, I know I will enjoy it and I might actually buy the full size if I can get it on sale because I love their conditioning hair mask as well. And these will be in my masking series as well. So overall, I think it's a fabulous box. Do you get boxy charm? If you do, I would love to know what products you got. Just so you know, mine seems to be variation one because there is a one with a little heart down here. So I know that there are several variations. And since I haven't done any of the spoilers, I have absolutely no clue <laughs> what those other items could be are. So I would be anxious to hear if you get this box, what you received and what your thoughts are. Let me know what you thought about mine. Let me just know how your day is because I love talking to you guys. You guys are the absolute best part of my day. And with that, my friends, I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week, whatever part of the world and planet you are on. And you know, I'm going to see you very soon. Actually, like, well, this will be really next, but you'll probably see this one over the weekend. <laughs> I'll see you soon, guys. So much love. Bye, everybody.